Make an actual gelato with just these two ingredients in your Ninja Creamy is possible. Let's have a look at how we do it. Gelato isn't anything fancy. It comes from Italy. It's a, it's a different type of ice cream. All right, so American ice cream has higher overrun, slightly lower sugar, much higher fat. Gelato has much lower fat, much higher sugar, much less overrun. That's what gelato is. That, that is the main differences between ice cream and gelato. That's it. You can play around with that. You can increase overrun a gelato and it will still be just as nice. But the sugar content being really high is something that people are quite happy to forget about gelato. In the world where everyone is obsessed with being healthy, they want to eat gelato because they think it's something special. And in reality, what's better for you, sugar or fat? Well, neither, really. They're both as bad, of, as bad for you as the next. But we make that judgment when we make our ice cream because it's enjoyable. And something in life has to be enjoyable. If you subscribe to this channel, you know that, that that's all I do. I just do ice creams, gelatos, and sorbets and that kind of stuff. That, that's all this channel is about. Um, I am going to start doing some other recipes, and I've got a really, really nice one coming up in a few weeks, which is reminiscent of my days back in the UK. But we can go to the store and buy half and half and a can of condensed milk or sweetened condensed milk, same thing, and turn that into amazing gelato. Let me show you how bloody easy this really is. Right, quick sip. We need 550 grams of this, which is this in cups, all right? We don't even need to heat this up. That's a massive bowl, but that will do. We, we don't need to heat this up. We're not adding stabilizers this time because this is about doing this quickly. Say, this has, this is just milk and cream. Nice Dairyland. Thank you for not adding the other stuff. So, 550 grams of half and half. This is 10% fat. That's important. 550, 550 grams. 10% fat is important because that is how we, as ice cream makers, determine fat content, sugar content, solids content, milk solids, non-fat, all of that stuff comes from knowing what you're putting into your ice cream, all right? So all these uh, social media recipes for Ninja Creamy that they just put random stuff in and have no idea why, then that's why you're struggling to take your Ninja Creamy ice cream, churn it, you know, spin it, put it back in the freezer and it's like a block of ice because they've got no idea what they're talking about. They've got no idea what the intricacies of making ice cream. It's actually quite easy once you break it down. You just need to understand a couple of little things. So 550 grams of half and half. And to that, we're gonna add 350 grams, which is this in cups of condensed milk. And I'm gonna get a spoon. And if my calculations are correct, That is an entire can. So this is a 300 mil can. I love condensed milk. Of condensed milk. With this, we need to add some kind of flavor. This is where the, the thing comes. This is where the importance of knowing what makes a good ice cream good. We're gonna use extract, but we need to use an alcohol-based extract because that alcohol is what is going to make this soft enough to put back in your freezer and have another day without this it will go too hard all right so you can use whatever extract you fancy it just needs to be alcohol based i've got lemon here hazelnut here i'm actually going to divide it and do one of each now there is let me put this in the fridge There is something you can do to make this even better. Invert sugar. This is like a dirty invert sugar in respect that is, I have no idea how it's made. 
Um, it's got vanillin in it and salt. It still does the job and it's cheap and you can get it from basically anywhere. This, and it's covered in sticky stuff. This is specialized. So this is 40 DE glucose syrup. If you really want to up your ice cream game, get some of this. All right. An invert sugar does something very special to ice creams, gelatos. It, it gives it a texture that you can't achieve without using it. It, it gives something that is super smooth, uh, slightly more luxurious than just using standard sugars. Um, condensed milk is one of these weird ingredients. It's got so much sugar in it that it, that's why we don't need to add any more. The heating process is actually done at lower temperature, but within a vacuum. So you don't get the invert sugar when using that. So if you don't want to use the invert sugar, then simply don't. But I'm going to, whoop, we need 30 grams for this mix. Right, stir it. So this mix with the corn syrup or the glucose syrup or the invert sugar, whatever you're going to use, this mix will give us these stats. A minus 12 serving temperature, 9.1% fat, 18.5% sugar, 8.1% milk solids, non-fat, 35.9% total solids, 63.8% water with a pod of 196. If you don't use the corn syrup or invert sugar, the stats that you will have are a minus 10 centigrade serving temperature, 9.4% fat, 16.7% sugar, 8.3% milk solids, non-fat, 43.6% solids, and 65% water with a pod of 170. If you don't know what any of those numbers mean, then don't worry about it, just make this. If you are into your ice cream and the stats are important, that's what you're gonna get, all right? So this puts this firmly in gelato territory. Now, we're gonna flavor both of these. We're gonna take our tubs and put it in. There we go. Now, what we can do is just take a touch of our extract. Whoop. Half a teaspoon. That, that's all we need. We don't need any more. Half a teaspoon is like two grams, something like that. Um, I love hazelnut ice cream. Whoop. Don't need any more than two grams. Half a teaspoon. We just don't. There's not enough in here to, to warrant any more. My, will that fit in there? No. tiny whisk all we're doing is we're just distributing that extract into the base definitely lemon definitely hazelnut we're good so let's pop these in the freezer and we'll come back in however long that takes probably what four hours Right, next day we've done the two flavors using the extract, lemon, hazelnut. We're gonna do the lemon one today. And I'm gonna use some white chocolate as an add-in. So Valrona, Ivory. Let's get some of this out. We've only got a single pint, so I kind of, I don't want to get too mad, but let's put that there. But you want to cut this up nice and small. There we go. Let me get my phone so you can see how small that is. So there we go, nice and small. Let's just take a piece so you can see the size we got. If it's too big, then it's like a massive hard chunk of chocolate in your ice cream. And I mean, I like that, but hey, not everyone does. So now that we've got that, we can get our tub out the freezer. They both look the same. Which one is it? That one. Right, straight out the freezer. Let's get it in. Hello. 
McFly. There we go. In. And let's get it going. Man, that thing's loud. Let's get our spoon. Hello. And we're going to take our lemon half and half ice cream. I mean, it smells delicious. I love lemon ice cream. And you can, you can use lemon zest to do this if you don't want the extract. But the extract, like I said before, you need that, come on, you need that alcohol to balance this freezing point out. Without the alcohol, Without the alcohol, the moment you put it in the freezer after eating some, it's gonna go rock solid. And that's something people, other 99% of people that do Ninja Creamy recipes don't tell you, is how to balance that freezing point so that it doesn't go rock solid. That's why you're here. Ice cream channel, yay! So we've got our white chocolate in there. Now we are just going to do our mix-in. God, all just to stir in some chocolate. Anyway, turn that off. Let's get some dished out. Let's get our spoon. Uh, and I can now put this in the freezer and it'll still be good in a week's time. Said with a high level of sarcasm. Super nice. I mean, it's low overrun, so it's dense kind of ice cream, but hey, it's super lemony, really, really nice, strong lemon smoke. You can see those pieces of Valrona white chocolate scattered throughout. And I am looking forward to trying this one because, you know, I haven't had ice cream in at least five minutes. Half and half, condensed milk, then your extract alcohol-based extract. If you use the corn syrup and or glucose or invert sugar, it creates a much nicer kind of texture. If you don't, they're both still gelato. They're both really good. The, the amount of sugar in there is exactly as is required for gelato. The amount of fat content is, is bleh, exactly as required for gelato. Gelato is lower overrun. And actually this benefits an Ninja Creamy because it, it produces no overrun. So you, you kind of get something a little bit more, the lid's leaking. You get something a little bit more in line with what gelato should be. It's still way too dense, but it's close enough. Let's try it. Super smooth texture. Kind of fudgy. This is delicious. White chocolate pieces. Big enough so that you can actually bite into them. Not so big they go rock solid. Super refreshing. It's five past nine in the morning. I'm going to have lemon gelato with a Valrona white chocolate for breakfast. Do try this in your creamy. You won't be disappointed. You can eat some, put it in the freezer. It's going to be the same texture in days. It's not going to go rock solid. You won't have to re-spin it. You'll be good to go whenever you want it. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do with the hazelnut one, I shall use that in another video. So make sure you like and subscribe. 
See you next time.